Hi guys, I'm coming to you from Wednesday, day three of week four of my Chicago Marathon training plan. So the first two days, Monday and Tuesday, were both recovery runs, the usual pace. I think the first one was 20 minutes and the second one was 30 minutes, I think. <laughs> and then today's was a heel speed run. Um, also the strength training workout of the week is on the Nike Training Club app and it was a calves and hamstrings run as well and it's basically a yoga session but I really enjoyed it. It was good for my stretch out my calves and my hamstrings for sure and it also left me feeling really relaxed so I'll definitely do it again. On the plan it's only like once a week but I will definitely do that again. I've also done I think I did um not the warm-up stretch possibly the standing cardio I did that as well so and then so Tuesday I did a legs bums and tons uh, class at pure gym and oh gosh it's the first class or an LBT class I've done for over 10 years I'm sure it was not that hard the last time I did it it was so hard and um, I'm feeling the effects today. It's Wednesday, it's the day after. I felt the effects that day. I had to do, um, uh, yesterday was uh, at my running club, Sopsy Striders, 40th birthday. So 28th of June, it's going too fast. 28th of June, 1982, Tony Simmons started a run for fun jogging course. I think it was a 12 week course and it started on this uh, 28th which is yesterday 40 years ago so we celebrated the actual day with a memorial run so we did a four mile run around the back of the fields in the spire uh, we had a minute silence for all the striders who've passed away and then we did the run and oh my gosh my legs i was feeling the class on that run it's quite hilly out there so it's hard very hard and then today i feel it going down the stairs in my flat is like doing a marathon I had to walk down the stairs backwards <laughs> I feel like I've run a marathon on these legs so I'm gonna have to try and do them every week and then today um, I also did a step class today so I didn't um, do my run in the morning because as you see it's dark can you believe we've passed the longest day of the year and it's already dark at 10 o'clock so sad it's so sad um, but yeah, so I did step class today, it was hard going, but I think my thighs needed it to sort of work out the kinks. I'm still feeling the pain in my legs. And um, so I had, today's was a hill session and I was gonna put it off till tomorrow, but I'm thinking if my legs are aching tomorrow, it's not gonna be any different. So let me just go out and do it. It was a 20 minute session, five minute warm up, and then up the hill, 10K pace for 45 seconds with a 115 uh, recovery and then 15 seconds at best pace uphill and um, with a 45 second recovery five times no cool down but it's just standing here is my cool down really and then walking back so because i'm doing up and down i'm not too far away from home so it's actually perfect so i did it um i don't think i was able to get to 10k pace on most of them i possibly hit it once <laughs> um, my best effort I did a big range and I think uh, the target pace was about I think the, uh, the slowest was six minutes and I think I was able to hit the first four at least maybe not the last one I can feel myself slowing down at the last one so I stayed there because of the light and then go back <sighs> um, but yeah I think I'm glad I did it. I've got it out of the way now, so that's good. It's all misty. Yeah, so I'm glad I did it, got it out of the way. So that's three sessions done. I think tomorrow is a 35 minute recovery. Um, yeah, I might as well do that tomorrow. So that's Thursday's run. I don't think I will get up early to do it tomorrow because Tim Hortons opened a new um, shop in Dunstable, which is 
20 minutes away <laughs> and it was opening day today and my sister my niece wanted to go so we got up at 6 a.m <laughs> so that we could queue up <laughs> to go and have a coffee and a, a breakfast sandwich but it was so like it was very reminiscent of when i used to live in canada because i used to do, um go and have a timmy's on the way when i was waiting for the bus especially in the winter because i wouldn't drive my car in the snow so i would actually go and get the bus instead so i'd go across the back alley across to a timmy's get my americano and breakfast sandwich on a bagel though i forgot to get a bagel but and then i'll wait for the bus and then go to work <laughs> but walking into the store is just like i was walking into the canadian one and i think they had canadian music as well playing so i really enjoyed that so we had fun i'm doing that but it's basically meant because i can't sleep anyway so i normally get about I'm, i've been getting about three to five hours sleep but because i had to get up at 6 a.m i only had about two and a half hours sleep so i think after i've done this i'm probably gonna have a shower and then just go straight to bed <laughs> and see if i wake up that's what i can do but yeah but yeah, I'm glad my three sessions went, sorry. <laughs> glad my three sessions this week have gone well. Um, tomorrow is a recovery run, so that should go fine. It's just a recovery run. And then the last run is a long run and it's 10K again. So good week so far. All right, talk to you later, bye. Good morning. It's Friday and it's Canada Day. It's 1st of July, which is Canada Day. So it seems very appropriate that I went to Timmy's the other day, bring the Canadian flavour in. I thought I'd wear my Canada, Canada Day race shirt for a race that I ran in Ottawa when I lived there. Uh, I had to go and dig out, especially. But yeah, so today was a recovery run, 35 minutes. It's just turned nine o'clock, so managed to get it in before work i have to start work a little bit late though um because i haven't got back to back home yet just around the corner but yeah gosh my legs my quads have been suffering since i did that lug legs bums and tubs class on tuesday oh my gosh i really felt like i had just run a marathon coming downstairs uh yeah is it downstairs going upstairs anyway stairs was a pain so I had to uh... <laughs> one day I walked um, down the stairs backwards because <laughs> it hurt so much but yeah I did it and I think today is Friday is the first day I felt I've, I've been able to walk properly <sighs> oh I hurt my shoulder don't know how but yeah, today is the first day I was able to walk down the stairs properly. My quads still hurt a little bit, but my running was fine. I did run a recovery run, slightly faster pace, I think. Let's see if it goes through. Then I, yeah, pace of 7.13. And my easy uh, run pace is 7.17 to 7.58. So it means I'm getting better overall. And that was for a whole 5K. It was supposed to be 35 minutes and I just went over to roll it up to the 5k I think 35 minutes stopped at uh, 4.8 something kilometers so I just um, carried it over so about 36 minutes or so not bad not bad but yeah so that's four planned runs done Saturday is a park run I won't do the whole thing because I'm volunteering I'm gonna barcode scan Stopsy Striders take over so, um, some other things to celebrate our 40th. So we thought we'd get as many Striders running and um, volunteering tomorrow at Luton Wall Down Park run. So yeah, we'll do that. And Sunday's long run, I think I said last week that it was going to be eight miles, but it's still 10K. So a nice, uh, I think now that's the last 10K and it, it goes up from there. But yeah. All right, hope you've been having a good week and I'll catch you probably on Sunday after my long run or my 10K, so I'll speak to you then, bye. Good morning. 
early morning run just a mile it's saturday by the way park run day um, but today it's our stopsy striders park run take over um, i'm gonna be barcode scanning and there is a um, another run like a, i think the color run is taking place at wall down today from 10 o'clock i don't know why they don't leave it till later but so I won't, I won't get a chance really to run afterwards until later this evening. So I thought I would do a run beforehand. I was gonna do 5K, but I got involved with a bit of tidying up. So I've only had time for a mile. I'm gonna go and have a shower and change and then set off to barcode scan. So just a mile today. I did my recovery run yesterday, 35 minutes. Oh, was it yesterday? Can't remember now. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. And that's eased out my thighs. My quads are all fine now. And um, yeah, so tomorrow 10K. So maybe I'll be back later. Maybe not. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow to update you on how the 10K went. All right, talk to you then. Bye. Just briefly, oh, by the toilets. <laughs> Just briefly back, you can see the background. They're doing a colour run. I got some footage, but then I realised there's kids in there, so I can't really use it. But lots of people got coloured. <laughs> yeah, I just did parkour scanning. So that was fun. See you later. See you later. Afternoon, guys. Had late Sunday run, but it's down. 10k on the plan slightly slower than it needed to be but heels around here but it was good steady pace I was only I think I put my time at 708 um, marathon pace I think I was averaging I'm not really quite sure but probably just over 709 710 so I did it in 1 1140 not bad uh, but I did wait till midday to go out and the sun is blurring. Oh, okay. Another good week of runs done. Completed them all. So far, so good. Um, I'm actually not going to say what next week's long run is because I got it wrong last week. But I'll put up here what I did and then I'll walk through uh, what next week's plan is about here anyway I hope you've all had a good week's training and good and a good week to come thank you for watching if you do like press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already I think I got one more subscriber so thank you to whoever you are um, keep watching I'll keep recording <laughs> I'll keep uploading I'll keep updating and I'll see you next week for another update. Take care, bye.